Welcome to NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Once again, I'm your host, Joe Brody. My regular broadcast partner, Eric St. Clair, can't be here this week, but I've got Dr. Roger Hamm with me again, and we're going to bring you the best in independent professional wrestling, the National Wrestling Alliance and Mountain State Wrestling. All right, fans, welcome back. Our opening contest here this week on NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Roger, we've got a great matchup here with some international flavor. We've got the Cuban assassin, Richie Acevedo, taking on Buddy Love. Buddy Love, his t-shirt says, got love. Now, Roger, I know the Cuban. I know Richie very well. I've teamed with him. I've wrestled against him. This man is very experienced. He's a second generation wrestler. Uh, just loads and loads of experience all over. As a matter of fact, he just came back from a successful tour of Grand Prix Wrestling out of Canada. And uh, right immediately, he's all over Buddy Love in the ring on him like white on rice. Um, I think strategy-wise, this is a good move on the Cuban's part. Big right hand there. He's got to jump on this big man and stay on him, wear him down. The longer this match goes, the more it favors the Cuban due to conditioning, Roger. That's right. You know, Cuban just come back from Canada, like you said, with Rene Dupree and Grand Prix Wrestling. He said he was had a little feud with a giant Kurgan. If you remember him from uh, WCW. I, I do remember Kurgan. Um, Roger, we've uh, got a little bit of interesting something here. I don't know if you were aware. Uh, were you aware that I've been to Africa? Really? And it's very interesting that the word Bade Lobe in Swahili means the buffet is closed. Big reversal, big clothesline, a la Crusher Broomfield. I don't believe Buddy Love speaks Swahili. Well, probably none of our fans do either, but uh, you know, there it is. It's out there. Education. Hey, Education. Hey, here's all my trunks, Rev. I've been saying Buddy Love pulled his trucks. A referee, Tim Hood, not going to take any of that, telling the Cuban to get back in the ring. This is a TV match, shorter time limit than would normally be applicable, Roger. So uh, the Cuban's going to have to really get it done against a larger opponent here on television. Right to the eyes, that may do it for him. Buddy Love has such a size advantage. You know, have you seen this guy's feet? He wears like a size 20. You know, Roger, if a man with his size can learn to use it to his advantage, uh, someone like Crusher Jerry Blackwell, uh, someone like uh, Crusher Broomfield, the One Man Gang, uh, Haystacks Calhoun, a lot of the great wrestlers down through history uh, of that larger stature. Uh, help me think of some more here, Roger. King Kong Bundy. King Kong Bundy, boy, what a great, great example that was. Uh, he had a great career in the National Wrestling Alliance uh, in Georgia, uh, as well as world-class championship wrestling out of Dallas, Texas in the 80s. Buddy Love firing back with some real meat behind that and uh, puts the Cuban down. Uh, look at all this weight just resting on Cuban's chest. He can you know, barely get out of that. Roger, I've noticed something a little bit different here. I've never seen Richie Acevedo, the Cuban assassin, wear that glove on his right hand. Is that something he picked up in Canada? Or have you noticed that before? I've not noticed it before, but uh, he's just come back from Canada. Maybe that's something they do up there. Could, maybe he's trying to emulate Michael Jackson. I could, don't know. Could he be possibly protecting an injury? Or maybe we might see a new hole here, possibly the claw hole. If you remember Blackjack Mulligan and Blackjack Lanza, they always wore that glove on the right hand before they applied that claw hole. Good point. I've never known the Cuban to use a claw hole. He is a Caribbean superstar. Speaking and, uh, of claws, those big meat hooks that Buddy Love. Oh, oh man. what a clothesline. He caught him in the kiss of that one. There it goes, there it goes. You always hear it when you've got the Cuban in the ring, the fans chanting USA, USA. And I'm not gonna say anything bad about that, Roger. Oh, he's got him by the ears, that'll work. Uh, he's definitely giving him an earful. Oh, a good. You know, that's one way Kia to take the big man that down. Top rope. And Buddy Love was flip-flopping like Barack Obama. Cuban just laying him in there. He's all over him. Big man back to his feet. Cuban throws in another big right hand. He's going to shoot him off. Let's see what happens here. Elbow, Buddy Love down in the center of the ring. And you know, when Buddy Love goes down, it's hard for a guy that size to get back up. 
Well, yeah, just if, getting himself especially back up. with someone with the experience and the technical knowledge that the Cubans got, there, he's going to tie him up right there. Modified abdominal stretch. He's got the, the rib cage. He's got the abdominal muscles. He's got the shoulder and the elbow joint, as well as the neck and shoulder all and makes stretched you, out. Makes you have to breathe a lot harder. Struggle for those breaths when you're down on the mat like that. Right back to it. Throw some punishment in on the spine and right back to the hole. The hallmark of a great wrestler, Roger Hand. And plus with his hand in his armpit, it just tickles. <laughs> okay, uh, I, I wouldn't have thought, thought that up, but we'll go with it. Shut your stinking mouth. That's what you always hear from the Cuban. And it's a, it's a great saying. I think it applies you know, to this referee. I think the Cubans did take some time off from wrestling uh, due to the death of Fidel Castro recently, but he is back. He seems to be even more motivated than ever. I'm surprised, Roger. I'm very surprised that Richie Acevedo, the Cuban assassin, is not higher in the rankings, uh, that he's not uh, in contention. Right now, he's ranked number 10 in the NWA Mountain State rankings. Uh, I look for that to change really soon. Well, a big win right here could vault him up. Uh, Body Love, formidable opponent for Richie, making his return to the NWA Mountain State. So Buddy Love used to be right here where you're sitting. Joe Brody, he, he was at the announce table, but he decided he wanted to be a star. He wanted to be on television. So he went to the Mountain State Wrestling training camp and learned the rules, learned the moves, and he's out there doing his thing now. Well, can't knock the man for that. Any of you fans out there that might be interested in training to be a professional wrestler, you can go to the website, NWA Mountain State Wrestling. That is www.nwamountainstatewrestling.com. Cuban down on the mat, and let's see. Taking off, big head of steam. 747 splash. Oh he may not be able to come out of this. That's it. That's it. The Cuban in his return. In his return, he's down to defeat. That's very unexpected. I, I, I really thought that the Cuban would take it to Buddy Love. But, uh, I, I tell you, man, uh, Roger, that, that was a big, big upset win there. That was a big, big upset win. The Cuban assassin ranked number 10. I don't think Buddy Love was ranked at all. The Cuban may be injured. He's still down, Roger. Yeah, I know. He's, uh, Folks, we'll give you an update on that. We'll be right back after this. All right, fans, welcome back to our second big matchup here this week on NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Roger, we've got a newcomer here. I've not seen this man in the ring before. Deimos out of Athens, Greece, taking Deimos. on TR Superstar. Right. TR Superstar telling us to uh, tell him how muscular he is, but Deimos is showing him what muscles are really about. I'll tell you, Roger, TR Superstar is someone, he's a veteran, he's been around. Um, I was on wrestling shows with this man about 12 years ago down in Southwest Virginia. He's been around a long time. He is an accomplished veteran. Uh, but just from appearances sake, this Deimos, well, he looks pretty impressive, but T.R. Superstar just got the jump on him. That's it. He doesn't speak English, I don't believe. Uh, I'm not sure, from, Roger, from uh, how the European rules are uh, or, or what the practices are of the European wrestlers, but uh, he just learned a very, very valuable lesson. Don't yeah. turn your back here in NWA Mountain State Wrestling. That... Uh, minding my own business here, Roger Ham, and as I told you, I've known T.R. Superstar Look at this. about a Look thousand at the power. years. Uh, Damos puts him down, and he's out. Uh, he would be much better served to concentrate on his opponent rather than me, Roger. I've not been in the ring in three years. That's right. You know, you just you just attract uh, violence wherever you go. Well, that you know, I can almost agree with that in the past, Roger. I can almost agree with that. Used to really enjoy it. But, uh, I'm here as a commentator, purely as a commentator. Well, this uh, Deimos was trying to show uh, TR Superstar the kind of power he has, kind of intimidate him a little. Oh, uh, he brought him right back in the ring, and uh, he's going to go to work on him here, Roger. This man's impressing me a lot right here. Big high impact clothesline there. 
and uh, TR Superstar feeling the effects. He's right back on him. He's not going to give him a breather. Maybe he learned his lesson when he got jumped there in the beginning. Now, Roger, you tell me, where have you seen that move executed in the past? I've never seen that move before. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Joe Brody was the king of the sidewalk slam. Great, great, great move, Roger. Great move. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, oh look, veteran experience. Indeed. There comes some of that experience. TR Superstar, he slipped over that slam, went down the man's back and took out his knee. It could be a serious issue here for Damos in his debut. You and, know, uh, uh, TR Superstar, Tony Richardson, of course is his name, but he, he felt he wasn't getting the respect deserved by the fans, so he took this name to remind the fans that he is a superstar. Well, I'm not going to argue that point. He's been around, but like I said, he's an accomplished veteran. Uh, he would definitely be in the title hunt, I would think. However, at this point, at this point, TR Superstar is not rated in the top ten here in NWA Mountain State. So this is a match that if he can get a win over this Damos, as impressive as Damos appears to be, that could vault him into that top ten in line for some title shots, Roger. Or vice versa. If Damos was able to pull it out over the veteran, he's straight in the top ten. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure this man's being looked at by the promoters, by the commissioner, by the ranking committee. It looks I'm impressive to me. Sure. How would you attack a man like this, Roger? You're still an active wrestler. What would your strategy be? Which guy, Joe Worthy? Well, I'm talking about Damos. Damos? Uh, Damos, I would be in awe of his appearance for about the first five minutes of the match, probably. And probably just get beat all to pieces. <laughs> well, I tell you, you're, you're an accomplished wrestler, Roger. I've been in the ring with you. I've been in the ring against you. I've watched you over the years. You're an accomplished wrestler, definitely. It's a pleasure to have you out here with me this week, as last week. Um, my regular announced partner, Eric St. Clair, will be back next week, folks, so tune in for that. But right now, we've got a heck of a competitive match going on That's in the ring. That's right. You know, Stemos is impressing me, uh, not only with his physique, uh, he truly has that, uh, that Greek hero physique. Well, that chiseled out of stone type That's from right, Athens. Yeah. Okay, I'll follow you. I'll follow you. And uh, he's going to have a hard time standing on that knee after his TR Superstar is working it over. That's right, that's right. There, you're getting a little bit of, of uh, props from the See, ring there. TR Superstar, he, we're good buddies. We've been buddies for years. He wants to uh, call out his friend, Dr. Ham. I don't mind it. Well, I tell you, he's really making a show and gets an impressive youngster and newcomer here at NWA Mountain State right now. Now, fans are getting all over his case, but I'll tell you, uh, this is a heck of a competitive match at this point. He's working that knee over. I'm not really sure about going with a suplex at this point, Roger. I don't think he's going to get it. I think uh, uh, Demos is about to reverse it. Reverse it on the vertical suplex, or as Gordon Sully used to say, a vertical suple. You remember Gordon, don't you, Roger? I do remember Gordon. The well. greatest wrestling announcer that ever drew a breath, followed closely by Lance Russell. And Dr. Roger Hamm. All right. You know, this Demos, he's got a hurt knee, but he's, he's, he's still got fight in him. Look, he's, he doesn't give up. He's coming up. Uh, TR Superstar, a little out of character for him. Going to the top rope, Roger. I, that, that's not something I normally see from him. Uh, Demos is up. He's got him. He's got him. Here we go. Big slam on the top, right in the middle of the ring. He took that right on his lower back, Roger. Uh, it'd be good for Demos to jump on him right now, but he's, he's, he's nursing that knee. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I thought he had him right there. Out, there, just barely out. TR superstar, Tony Richardson. Six minutes into you know, this match. hook that leg a little tighter. Six minutes into this match. Uh, that's a mistake I'm sure that you wouldn't make, Rob. I would never make that mistake. Not against TR superstar. Here we go. Let's see. He's going to put the man back in the corner and see if he's going to deliver some punishment. Uh, well, he's going to shoot him to the other Shoots ring. Working that back again. Big, big clothesline right on the point of the chin. Snap the head back. Uh, that's going to convert the run break. Two. Now, if you notice there, Roger, notice when he covered that man, he put his forearm across his eyebrow and forehead, pushing bone on bone, added a little bit of extra pressure, a little bit of insult to injury, maybe to try to demoralize TR Superstar. Well, TR Superstar just showed him what demoralization is all about. He's back Took on him. He's back to that spinning toe hold. I think. The Funk Brothers must have given an academy here. Yes, he's getting a little leverage off the rope. Come on, where we can see the man. 
referee for this match, Pee Wee Harris, all over the situation here. He's going to check, see if Damos wants to give this up uh, at the same time. Oh, well, he got oh, caught. He caught him. Caught. He caught him. Hand in the cookie jar there, Roger. Hand in the cookie jar. That's it. You think um, Pee Wee's mama named him Pee Wee? Or is this a nickname? I, I think he got that in high school gym class. Uh huh. Uh, looks like TR Superstar all over that knee again. He's not going to let up on the man. Uh, there's a lot, of, uh, lot of really, a lot riding on this match, Roger, for both right. men at this point. Uh, the matches here in NWA Mountain State they are so competitive. We're looking at any given time someone could vault themselves into that top contender spot and demand a title shot. That's right, and these guys know it. That's what they're fighting for. Big right hand in the corner, followed up by a knife edge chop. He thinks he's got him. He thinks he's got him, Dr. Ham. You know, Leonard Sims and Larry Light, they watch every one of these matches, and they, they uh, base their uh, the top ten on these, these matches that they're watching. Well, there's a lot that comes into this. There's the win-loss record, of course, but there's also the inherent skill and how you get these wins and losses. It's over now, though. Big knee right in the it's mush there, Roger. That'll take it right out of you. Uh, he's wobbly. He's out. He's on the Dream Street. The big Greek god is gone. Street. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, he was playing possum. What do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, my goodness. Looked like a, a tilt the world DDT, maybe. And he's got it. And he's got it. The newcomer, the newcomer, Damos, injured and all, gets a win over TR Superstar right here on NWA Mountain State Television. I'd like to take this opportunity really quick here, Dr. Ham, to send out happy birthday wishes to a few people in the wrestling business from here in West Virginia. Brent Batten has a birthday this month. Eric St. Clair had a birthday this month. Little Timmy Hood, who's our greatest fan, had a birthday this month. Richard Goodson, Eric Darkstorm, Brute Shooter, just a few of the people with birthdays this month. We'll be right back after this, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Ever since I've come into this area, I've told everybody, everybody, that I was going to be number one. Well, I must be doing something right, because now I've got a living legend breathing down my neck. He thinks he's going to take the title from me. He's got another thing coming. I'm gonna keep this belt for as long as I want it. You understand me? As long as I want it. All right, fans, welcome back. This is for the NWA Mountain State television title. We've got the champion, the scholar, an accomplished veteran. But when you talk about veterans, Roger Ham, there's no one that's a bigger veteran than Gypsy Joe. That's G. right, Madrid. G. Madrid. I am so excited about this match. G. Madrid may be the oldest competitor in wrestling right now. The, the oldest active competitor alive today. In well, I tell you what, I'm not going to say anything about that because the man's effective. He's a top contender. Right now, he is listed as the number five contender for the NWA Mountain State Heavyweight title, Roger. What's so amazing about G. Madrid is he's, he's found the fountain of youth. He's able to stay competitive. This far up next. You know, he was a superstar here in the West Virginia area 30 years ago, and he's going to be another star. He's, he's making his uh, impact felt right here in NWA Mountain State Wrestling today. Well, not just here, Roger. I've mentioned it on television in the past. Gypsy Joe, G. Madrid's wrestled all over the world. Uh, I've seen a, a tape of a match with him in a cage match in Japan. What was it? It was like uh, three, four months ago, the WWE put in the magazine a big article about Gene Madrid. Absolutely. Just a, a really, really well-respected and even feared veteran, Roger. This guy is the originator of hardcore wrestling. Well, he's laying them in there, the spoiler on the ropes, and I mean literally, on wobbly legs coming out of that corner, and a headbutt right to the sternum, puts him down and out. He's out of the ring, Roger Ham. The spoiler's no match for the experience of Gypsy Joe. Well, you know, Roger, I'm going to tell you something. In a situation like this, where the spoiler is the television champion, the advantage is to the champion because he has to be beat. He and cannot he has lose to be that beat title within a on a certain time limit. That's right. It can't be a time limit situation. It can't be a disqualification or a count out. He's got to be pinned or made to submit. And I'll just tell you, the man with the spoiler's experience, 
even Gypsy Joe, in the limited amount of time you've got in a TV title match, I don't know if he's going to be able to get it done or not, Roger. And you know, the television title is the most sought after title in West Virginia. It's the most seen title defense oh, in all of West Virginia. No, without a doubt. Absolutely, without a doubt. There is not a wrestler on the NWA Mountain State roster that would not love to have that belt. It's instant, instant superstar right there. When you have the television title, you're defending that title week in, week out on television. It puts a man in contention for other titles as well. I mean, uh, the spoiler, the number three contender for the Mountain State Wrestling Heavyweight title. Right? Simply based on being the television champion. Well, not only that, but uh, as you well know, the NWA champion travels to all the territories, uh, as well as the North American champion, the national champion. Um, we just had a couple of weeks ago Chance Prophet on television here, a former NWA national heavyweight champion. And with the spoiler having this television title, the way he's defended it, the list of people that he's sent packing in defeat, uh, that puts him in line for a lot of greater glory down the line. That's right. And, you know, this is the NWA, so when you hold a title like that, you, your name goes down in the uh, history books. Now, he's working this rear chin lock on Gypsy Joe, Gene Madrid. And uh, I tell you, Joe's best bet at this point might be to try to get to the ropes, Roger. I mean, why expend extra energy trying to fight your way out of this when you can get to the ropes and I make the referee I think it's pride. It's pride, Joe Brody. He, he doesn't want us to show that he's at a disadvantage. He wants to prove that he can stand there with those younger guys. Well, the longer this match goes, uh, normally it would favor the younger man, but I'll just tell you, uh, with Joe's conditioning and his experience, the longer this match goes, I really feel like that the match favors him. Gene's made, oh, it's a mistake by Gene. He got draped across that rope and the spoiler's gonna take advantage of it. He's putting all of his weight right across the back of his neck, forcing his throat down over that bottom rope. And the spoiler now, uh, he's gonna pull down, put all of his weight on it again, trying to cut the air off away from Gypsy Joe, Gene Madrid. Referee, Mike Mahan, giving a stern, stern warning to the television champion, but you know, really, at this point, Robert, a disqualification is as good as a win. That's right. That's exactly right. You have to beat the man. It's like the famous saying. Uh, driving that shoulder in the midsection, Gypsy Joe. Uh, he's trying his best to take the air out of the lungs. Uh, keep Gypsy Joe winded, sucking for air. Um, you know, so far it seemed pretty effective. And uh, what a chop that was! Another one. Gene now Madrid, he's going to try one, of the, him, Roger. one of the most highly viewed uh, videos on YouTube right now is him versus New Jack. Oh, absolutely! I mentioned that on television a couple of weeks ago. Uh, just brutal, 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 brutal match. Oh, and Gypsy Joe, Gene Madrid fires back with a big right hand on top of the head. Oh, point of the boot there, and another one in the midsection there, and another headbutt in the sternum. And uh, right down on his prodigious uh, hindquarters is the spoiler in the corner. And Gypsy Joe giving no quarter here. He's right on top of the man. Uh, I tell you, you get this man's temper up and you've had a bad day, Roger. That's man. right. Spoiler is, uh, his day is being spoiled right now. Just in the last few weeks, uh, Gypsy Joe defeated another masked man here on television. Um, very handily, Roger. Well, Gene Madrid, uh, he knows his way around the ring, and he knows how to get a win. There's no doubt about it. And he's not afraid to, to get in a brawl. Uh, well, really, a brawl favors him at this point. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I've mentioned this on television in the past, and you saw it there. The spoiler punching Gypsy Joe, Gene Madrid in the head, and then shaking his hand, he hurt his hand. Yeah, that's like punching concrete. Uh, Joe, just like your average Samoan wrestler, you cannot hurt the man hitting him in the head. And anyone who's seen that match with him and New Jack can testify to that. But really, anyone who's ever been in the ring with Joe can testify to that. Gene coming all the way from Romania. Uh, I have some ties to Romania. My beautiful wife is from Romania. And uh, really? Gypsy Joe is a legend in that country. A legend. When, I, when she found out I was a wrestler. Bigger than Dracula? Bigger than Dracula. When she found out I was a wrestler, she said, do you know Gypsy Joe, Gene Madrid? I said, sure I do. Well, there you have it. A little bit of family history from Dr. Roger Ham. Back to the match. The spoiler out on the floor with Gypsy Joe, Gene Madrid, and he's just bouncing his skull off that steel ring post. But Joe's still on his feet. The average man would have been out cold and waiting for an ambulance to scrape him up right here, Roger. Joe 
Stagger stumbles back into the ring. Uh, he knows if anyone's going to get beat in this match, it's got to be inside the ring. And they uh, finally got a, a foot across the rope. You know, Gene Matias' skull may be the missing link, you know, because that thing is not made like a regular human being. I tell you, that was a smart move there to get drape that foot over the bottom rope. Uh, don't expend that energy. Conserve your energy. He's had a lot of air, a lot of wind taken out of him. He's taken a lot of abuse here. Conserve your energy. Wait for that opening because I can tell you, folks, one mistake from the spoiler, and he's an ex-champion when he's in the ring against Gypsy Joe, Gene Madrid. He's taking those, uh, those fingers and chopping them right into the throat. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's happening here? The spoiler. The spoiler went and grabbed the chair. Out of the ring. He's back in. He's got a chair. He's got a chair. He's referee, Mike referee Mayhem, has got to do something about what are you this. Gonna do, referee? He's referee. warning. He's giving him a warning referee, here. He's it, giving him a warning. It. That's it. That's it. Ring the bell. It's over. It's over. Roger Ham, it is over. The winner by disqualification is going to be Jimmy Joe, Gene Madrid. But whether or not he leaves this ring under his own power is still to be determined. You know, the spoiler may have done this on purpose and himself disqualified. He still keeps his belt. You know, we mentioned the ratings earlier. Is it a possibility that the spoiler could be maybe working to eliminate Joe from contention from other titles? That could be the, the, his motive here. And uh, proclaiming himself there out of the ring, Joe still down, the winner. Gypsy Joe, G Madrid. Folks, we'll be right back. We're back here for another week here at Montgomery, West Virginia, fans. All right, let's get this match started, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank you. We also like to point out you can see us on the World Wide Web, www.thesuperstation.tv. Each week, our new broadcast is aired. Also, MSW TV Networks. You know the times, you know the dates, you know the channels. Also, www.mountainstatewrestling.com and we're also on the MySpace. All of your favorite wrestlers on the MySpace. Myself, I even have a MySpace. Not me though, no MySpace for me. Why not, brother? It's, it's the gateway of everything, information, knowledge. Let's just say there's a bunch of people out there that you are people just not money. up to date with technology. Oh, I thought you just started a lot of people money. <laughs> you have money? No, I'm broke like a joke. Well, I'll just quit talking to you and call this match. <laughs> Enjoy my Coke that I had to buy. <laughs> All right, Maestro. Big Dan Richards has that sound headlock in. Maestro's trying to go for some hair here. Referee Mike Mayhem watching very, very closely. Ooh, punch to the gut by the Maestro. Right. Down, the pit. <laughs> That's one of the rare moments for the Maestro to be knocked off his feet by somebody. And Big Dan Richard is that somebody. We see the impressive show he got a Dan Richard inside of that 10-man uh, over the top rope battle royal, which was won by Chance Prophet, who gets a shot tonight at the, the Maestro. Maestro. Yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Dan Wright in the headlock. Dino White Dan's got the headlock again. Maestro with the elbow shots. He's got the hair. Referee needs to warn him. This throws him off. Load over. Got him like doing another shoulder tackle. The pin. Maestro is out of the ring. Dynamite Dan Richards. Ready and willing for action. Fans, we also have Lord Everett DeVore and Chris Gilbert. Mr. Charisma taking on the Lit Wright connection and Damon Wright and Billy Lit. Ladies and gentlemen, that is up next. And also, we have a television title match. The spoiler is going to be defending against Waylon Payne. A tag, a tag match. Diablo Jr. and Johnny Blast are going to be taking on the oh, and Jason the gift and, hard. and we're going to see Chance Robin take on the Maestro. Maestro back up. And the mic then. Some incredible action here. We've already had a match like this. Moisture's having it handed to him by Big Dan Richards. Look at the roll up. Only a two count there, Jock. Oh, 
So how you like an MSW so far? I love it. And great, I hope all you fans out there love it too, because I'm telling you right now, this is beautiful right here. I turn around, I'm sitting here, and I can't stop shaking, man. That's how excited I am to be here. How's well, that leg of yours, I JC? One more week and I should be good to go. Right. I'll take this out and I'll be in fighting form. You'll see me in that ring be calling my matches here pretty soon, bud. You hear that? JC Dykes Jr. in the ring. Not only me, but I'll be bringing my boys, the Bunkhouse Boys, the Two Tons of Texas Fun, Big Willie Blackheart and the Bandit back. We're gonna be in driving force. Chop to the chest by the maestro. Maestro in the corner, chop Big by Dan the chest. Big with his own chop to the chest. Five minutes until the match now. Nice hip toss from Big Dan Rich, Dynamite Dan Richards, excuse me. I don't want this man blowing up on me for getting his name wrong. <laughs> well, you see, that happens. I know, because it happened to me. Dynamite Dan Richards. Both men going at it. Looks like he's got him in a setting side headlock. Meister pulls right out and gets a hammerlock and then stomps his shoulder. Brutal stomp. He's got the underhook. Reverse. Look at that, right back to a side headlock. Dan Rich has been working his headlock since the get-go, Doc. Yes, he has. He's been putting that head to work. Kicked it in to the back of the knee. Hard shot right to the chest. You can actually see the handprints on his back. I don't know what Dan Richards was going for, but the Maestro bailed on him. Oh, yeah. If the Maestro would have kept running, I bet you Dan Richards would have drop kicked him right, right in the chest or in the head. With a man that big, I'd say he could probably touch the head of the Maestro with those feet. Oh, yeah. The man's got the size, he's got the power and the strength. We've seen him done take. The Maestro down with multiple shoulder tackles. Excuse me. I'm looking at Dynamite Dan Richards' body right now, and I can see the Maestro's handprints right on his back, right on his chest. Oh, yes, I've had those handprints on me before. If they need a fingerprints, they get a dust of my chest cavity for them. Let me ask you this. How long did it take to get those handprints off your Two body? Weeks. <laughs> Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Every time I look down, I see the Maestro's handprint. Oh, okay. I could bought him gloves because I already had the perfect size on my chest. Looks like he gave you a body autograph. Look at this. Dynamite Dance. He's showing why he's got the dynamite name. Off the road. Firing back. Oh, oh with that drop kick and he misses. With the fake by the maestro. Dynamite Dan Richards down. Looks like his back is hurting him. The stiffness of that ring, you never know. All fans think we're jumping on a trampoline. I tell you what, I've been in there before and it's not a fun, fun fall. You know, I was here earlier today and I actually saw them put the ring together. And I it's know brutal. what's that ring. Brutal steel and wood, fans. That's right, fans. This Don't ring try right this here, at home. It's made out of steel metal. And on top of that, you got the wood and very little. Very, very little pad. Very little pad. Those ropes are unforgiving. This whole ring is a torture device in one own mind. Fans, do not try this at home. Leave it to us, we are the professionals. Look there, Maestro's getting some shots in, lifting the arm up, working the rib area. Oh! Solid oh, thrust. That was a hard palm right to the left side of the ribs by the Maestro. What is he gonna try for? Oh no. He's got him up. Uh-oh. What is he hurt. going for? Oh, oh it dropped. Wow, both men down. Kind of like a torture rack Samoan draw. And some serious pain. The Maestro with the pin. Oh. My damn Richards break with the two count. Oh, kick right to the spine. Oh, oh. oh smack. You're going to see some handprints on his back now. You know, if I was working the camera crew, I'll say zoom in on that right there and see those handprints. That's why we're doing the commentary and we leave the camera work to Cucumber <laughs> and Company. Yes. Bring it to you each and every week here on the MSW Network. Right. 
Boston Crab got it cinched in high. You know, I haven't seen that move in years. And you know what? When I used to wrestle back in the day, that move hurts right there. Oh, yes. That puts some serious pressure on the spine. Look at this. He has a single crab. Big Dan Richards fighting back. Smack. Every time he fights back, the monster gives him a stiff shot. I hear people in the background going, ow. Because you know what? That's right. Ow He's got him tied right. up here. Uh -oh. Look at that. He's got a death lock, leg lace, and a chin lock. Fans need to get behind Dan Richards. Look at that. Dan Richards breaks the chin lock. He's fighting his way out of the leg lace. And a shot to the kidneys. Stiff, stiff shot. Another stiff shot. I can't believe they're letting this happen. <laughs> well, Look at that. Dynamite Dan Richards able to take him down with a simple shoulder. What's this? The Maestro. Oh, my. He's got him. He's got him great down with his legs, squeezing the life out of him. And they're chopping each other relentlessly. Wow. Thumbs in the is, eye. This is a match right here, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and if girls, the next I'm match is anything you. like this, we're in for a treat because we got Lord Everett DeVore, Chris Gilbert, taking on Dynamite. Not Dynamite, Damon Wright and Billy Lynn. Also, the spoiler defense his tag team title and okay. much, much more. Or his television title, excuse me. Dynamite Dan Richards gaining some momentum, but the maestro just comes back with a knee right to the back. Ooh, uppercut. Another. He just Death laying these shots right in left and right. Oh, Punches to the head. Dynamite Dan Richards. Boot. Oh, they're going back and forth with these punches. Hard punch. Running Sabat kick by the Maestro. Dynamite Dan Richards on the and floor. rolling sent on. Mid. Two count. Maestro just can't seem to get the three count. Incredible action here, Doug. Ten minutes gone. Ten minutes. Ten minutes gone. To the match. It's been gone back and forth. We've seen some incredible maneuvers. Some hard shots, too. Look at this. He's, he's trying for a backslide. I don't know if he's going to be able to get it there, Jock. He's got it. Uh oh, he's got it. Now. Only gets a two. Meister's getting up. Pretty close. Gets Dan Richards in the side of the face. Maestro losing his pants. Off the ropes. Look at small Take package. Two. Down away Dan Richards with a small package pinfall. You know, he almost had that. Hard kick by the Maestro. Maestro showing why he does deserve this big blue belt, the Mountain State Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Off the ropes. Sunset flip. He's down. Ah, only oh, a two reverse. count. First, look at that. Oh man, I could not believe that. That now, that was a good move by the Maestro. He's bridging up. Uh oh. Look at that. He's got the Maestro's head. Okay. Maestro still has his legs. All right. The reverse. Look at that. He's got the ropes. Maestro powers out. He's going right back. He's got Dan Richards by the hair. Fire dynamite Dan Richards off. Reverse. Look at that. Bam! hits that drop kick right upside the nose. Maestro on the floor along with Dan Richards. Right now, it's only about about time, fans. Whoever gets up, gets up. Up. Dan Richards with the pin. Oh, no. Oh, oh Maestro is able to get a hand on the ropes. Bro, I've had this happen to me with the Maestro. <laughs> Had a three count, thought I won the belt right here in this building, Montgomery, West Virginia. Only to get it beaten in the end. Look at this, Dan Richards going up. Is he going to go for it? It's one, two, three, four, five. Uh-oh. He gets cut off. Uh -oh. oh, you've I not seen this. Right this looks He's good. going. That's the true SPD, the Strobe Bear Hug DDT. Wow, I don't know if Dan Richards is going to be able to come it. after this. There you go, fans, your winner, and still, NWA Mountain State Heavyweight Champion, the Maestro. <laughs> Chris, just a matter of moments, we get Blasting Diablo one more time. <laughs> Before it's over, one of them will be wearing this neck brace, <laughs> not me. See, it's, it's personal this time. The titles are on the line. You know what? We really don't care. All we care about is our revenge. 
Johnny Blast, you injured my neck. You injured Ricky Shane's neck. Diablo Jr., you want to screw us? You want to cheat us? It doesn't matter tonight. It all ends tonight. We get our hands on you one more time. Okay, fans, Joe Brody back with Roger Ham for our television main event here this week. A non-titled tag team event. We have our champions, Roger. The NWA Mountain State Tag Team Champions, Diablo Jr. and Johnny Blast. You know, the only way that Johnny and Diablo would go into this match was for it to be a non-title match, and Chris King and Ricky Shane took it because they just want to get their hands on it. But I'll tell you, Ricky Shane didn't leave the ring here on television last week under his own power. Chris King had to come out and save him in his matchup with Johnny Blast. So anything could happen here, Roger. Unless his youth and inexperience still get the best of him. And he's, he's coming back in the ring way sooner than he's supposed to be. Well, I tell you, we're, we're seeing just wrestling here right now. There's a single leg takedown and uh, into an ankle lock. Chris King showing his wrestling skill. And uh, he really showed me something last week against Diablo Jr. Diablo, uh, don't, don't get me wrong, he's really quick. But he's so small that he has a disadvantage in just about every match he goes into. Well, you know, I mentioned this last week on television. In Mexico, they wrestle the same way we do here in the United States, but they do wrestle by weight classes like boxers do. So in order to come to the United States, where it's more of an open weight class situation, would put the man at a disadvantage. And uh, he also has a language disadvantage. But I will say this, he has been successful. And it shows he has a few uh, Mexican jumping rings down below. <laughs> okay. Well, again, not going to make a comment on that. You suckered me into that conversation last week. Not going to let you do it again this week. Uh, we've got Ricky Shane in the ring. He's got an arm ringer, putting pressure on the wrist, the elbow, and the shoulder. Diablo Jr. into the ropes, forcing the break. A referee for this match I neglected to mention earlier, NWA sanctioned referee Tim Hood. Diablo's going over Johnny Blast, get a little massage. Maybe a little strategy session here. You're going to try to get the youngsters uh, to make a mistake, maybe get over anxious. And uh, Ricky Shane really favoring that neck at this point. And uh, uh, there it is, there it is. Just like I said, he's working on it. And you can't blame him. How can you blame him from going after no, the energy? No, Andrew. absolutely not. Wearing that neck brace in the ring is like wearing a big bullseye on it. Oh, it doesn't seem gosh. to be affecting him. More like a bill rather than a hip toss out of that corner, Roger. But uh, Blast and Diablo Jr. have retreated uh, even out of the ringside area. There's uh, there's the ring ropes, the ringside area, and three rows of fans separating these guys right now. Not to mention the sombrero. Uh, some big sombrero. How did you know they used to call me the big sombrero? Is that what they called you? When I was in Mexico. Habla Espanol, señor. Sí. You know, that brings up a very interesting question. At one point in time, did you not have a sort of a partnership with a wrestler known as Mr. Mexico? Mr. Mexico, the hot tamale. Those were some interesting times, Roger. But back to this match. Johnny Blast driving the point of that elbow and then a the big fist. And uh, Ricky Shane firing back. Firing back again. Ricky Shane is a fighter, and he, he's going to take it to Johnny Blast. Driving his shoulder into the midsection, taking the air out of him. You know, before he got taken out with that neck on last week's television episode, that's between Johnny Blast and Ricky Shane. Ricky Shane came out like a house of fire. He took advantage of Johnny Blast and just beat him from pillar to post, but that neck just wouldn't hold up. That's right, and you know, Ricky Shane, he, he's lost his livelihood here. He can't make any money if he's not wrestling. Wrestling is his job. And when, when someone like Johnny Blast hurts you, it takes away from your family. It takes away from your, your, your bills at home. He's just like the rest of us. He has bills to pay. And when Johnny, when someone energizes you like that, it takes away your, the way that you feed your family. And Ricky Shane's fighting to keep that alive. Absolutely. Excellent, excellent point there, Doctor. You know, uh, the veterans, the veterans that they are, Johnny Blast leading his team into this match, uh, they knew they knew that their point of attack was going to be the neck. They stuck with it. Uh, for the most part, they've maintained control here. And that, there, there's a great move. There's a great move by Johnny Blast. Great move by Johnny Blast. They took the referee's attention. 
Referee didn't see the tag, and now they're taking advantage of Ricky Shane over in the corner. Roger, my old partner and I used to take advantage of that. It is so easy to take a younger, more inexperienced, fired up individual, sucker him and draw him into the ring, and take advantage with that two on one while the referee's back's turned. Uh, you know as well as I do, that's a veteran, veteran move on the part of Johnny Blast and Diablo Jr. I saw your old partner the other day out on the 4th Street. She's, uh, you know, selling herself for about 50 bucks. Now. <laughs> uh, that's not any partner that I'm talking about. And it goes the neck brace. Here we go again. They are going to wring this boy's neck, and he deserves every minute now, of it. I hope, I really hope that promoter Leonard Sims and Commissioner Larry Light had a talk with referee Tim Hood before this match and told him if it appears like Ricky Shane is going to suffer some serious damage in this match, he should step in and he should stop this match. I think the referee last week was a little lax in that area. Chris King came out to save his friend and tag team partner. Ended up with a controversial decision on the match. Um, but they're right back out here going after it again this week. And I, I just don't know what the kind of punishment, the kind of schedule he's got as Ricky Shane's neck had time to heal up. That's right, and that Litter Sims and Larry Light should be ashamed of themselves for letting Ricky Shane in get in this ring. Well, you know as well as I do, Roger, when a man wants it, when he wants what he wants, he's gonna do what it takes to get it. And right now, that's what Ricky Shane's trying to do. He wants Johnny Blast and Diablo Jr. in that ring so that he can pin them, so that he can beat them, so that they can get their shot at those tag team titles. And you know what? He's getting everything he asked for and more right this minute. He's definitely getting more. The crowd coming alive behind Ricky Shane, but that all ended. Diablo Jr. with a veteran move. That Takes took the right fire right, right out of him. Comes Chris King. See, Chris King's got to keep his emotions in check. He's only causing his partner more harm by taking the referee's attention away from that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, sometimes a veteran will use your emotions against you, have, you know, get you all fired up so you make mistakes. Well, that, it's definitely been a mistake, and Chris King has made it twice now. Johnny Blast shoots the man off, a reversal, here he comes. Sent too early for that backdrop. The big boot and the clothesline just about turned him inside out like an old sock, Roger. I think Johnny Blast could get the, the pin right now if he wanted it, but he wants to punish Ricky Shane. You know, these guys are sadistic. This SPD, this whole little gang they got here, they are sadistic people. Well, there's no doubt about that at all. Absolutely no doubt about that. And speaking of SPD, notorious here, conspicuous by his absence, is the heavyweight champion, the Stroke. Well, that guy's off his rocker. He's, we saw him last week. He's just, he's just sweet. He's, he's got two vicious. I mean, beyond my standards of viciousness. Now, the beating, the absolute shellacking that Ricky Shane's taking in the corner. Referee Tim Hood needs to step in here, Roger. He needs to either take control of this match, force the other team to wrestle within the four count, or he needs to end this match because there's going to be some permanent damage. Yeah. Ricky Shane's just being embarrassed here. Slapped around he by his it. own uh, neck collar. He wants it, Roger. He's got the drive, he's got the desire, he's got the ability, but it, it's just its just not happening. He doesn't have the physical tools with this injury to compete with a team on the level of the NWA Mount State Tag Team Champions, Johnny Blast and Diablo Jr. Well, think about it, Joe Brody. Uh, your neck controls everything. It's, it's got your spine, your arms, everything's, everything's connected to the neck bone, as the old song says. That came right out of one of your medical books, right, Doctor? It sure did. All right. Johnny Blast comes in with authority, snap mares the man over, goes to a rear chin lock. He's working on that head and neck area again. They're staying with it. They're right on it, Roger. Yeah, putting pressure on his neck right now, taking his breath away. Johnny Blast putting every ounce of that 270 pounds right on Ricky Shane's neck. 270 pounds? That's what I'm judging. I, I think you're a little off there, Doctor, but uh, I don't know. You might have been back there for the weigh-ins tonight. I was not. That's just too much nudity back there. Don't do that. Big, big sunset flip. Ricky Shane's got him down. Two count. Johnny Blast kicks out. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, that's it. That 
That just, clothesline was it. That Mr. was Ricky it. Ain't gonna learn. Just roll over, get out of the ring, go back to the dressing room. You go know, there's home. no quit in him, Roger. There's no quit in this young man. But I tell you, I, I really think somebody needs to step in. I know I said this last week. I'm saying it again this week. Big leg drop. Again, the focus is on the neck. Chris King in to save his partner. But, you know, saving this match could be the worst thing that Chris King can do for his partner right now. That's right. They know this referee. He doesn't want to take the chance away from Ricky Shane and Chris King to win these belts. Well, tonight's a non what he's, what they He doesn't want to take away their chance to get revenge on Johnny Blast and El Diablo. Well, but, you got, but you can't let the guy get hurt. Referee's got to step in sometime. At this point, Diablo Jr. looks like he's in control. Ricky Shane trying to fight his way back up to that vertical base to take some of the pressure off of that neck. And there he goes. He fires one elbow into the midsection. Here he comes. There's a second one. And a rake to the eyes puts a stop to that comeback, Roger. Big right hand in right in the mush. He shoots him off. A reversal by Ricky Shane. Power oh slam. Goodness. Power slam. He's got him. He's got him. He Ricky needs to get Shane up and make the cover, chance. Roger. He needs to make the cover right here. He's got a chance now. Come on, Shane. Whichever man can cover the other or make the tag is going to win it for his team, Roger. Whichever man can get up first is going to win it for his team. You know, I find myself rooting for Ricky Shane here. I'm kind of an underdog guy, and he's, and he's definitely the underdog. There it is. There it is. The Elmo Jr. makes the tag. Chris King makes the tag. Chris King in like a house of fire. Just blast. The Elmo Jr. down. Blast shot off to one side. Big elbow down. King on Diablo Jr. back in the corner. There comes a sombrero. Followed by about 73 big forearms. Ricky Shane back up to his feet. He's wobbly, but he's firing him in. Bulldog. Bulldog headlock on Diablo Jr. Chris King throws him, rolls him out of the ring. The sombrero right behind him. King. Oh, there comes the power driver. Super kick. Super kick. Look at this. There it is. It's over. I can't believe it. It's over. It's over. Roger. Dr. Roger Ham. No. No. It's a non-title match, Roger. It's a non-title match. I can't believe it. But they just vaulted themselves into number one contendership for those tag team belts. A shot will be coming down the line. After this, I guarantee shock and dismay on the part of the champions. That's a Ricky Shane. Ricky just Shane. proved himself as one hell of a man. One we second-guessed him, Roger. We second-guessed him, but it's not going to be. They're not champions, but they're definitely winners tonight. Folks, thank you very much for tuning in, and we'll be right back after this. Okay, folks, we saw some great action here tonight. We saw an upset in the tag team division. Who knows what's going to happen there, but we've got new tag team contenders for sure down the line. Tune in next week. Be sure to come back and see my regular partner, Eric St. Clair, will be back with me in the broadcast booth. It's been a pleasure the last two weeks, thank Dr. You, Roger Brady. Hand. Thank you. And thank you, folks. Thank you.